a million ton. And so my guys, after a very, very long wait, welcome to the ReZero patch. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lace. This is a, I was about to say ReZero video, but it's not quite. This is a Princess Connect Redive video. However, today we are going to be featuring the ReZero event. And so in this video, I want to start things off by speed running through all of the event content, including the new hard mode, including the unique equipments, including the Lunar Towers, Clan Battles, etc, etc. And then I am going to save the character evaluations for Ram, Rem, and Amelia down at the end. And so no more stalling, Steven. Let's get right into it. Welcome again, guys, to the ReZero patch and to kick things off we have rem's banner which will be launching on may 2nd rem will be a three star unit she is going to feature for about two weeks and she is limited in the fact that she is a call up however don't be too upset if you don't get her this time because i know year two summer units some of the halloween units it gets freaking crazy just remember that despite being call up units they actually do make a return in about a year and a couple of months which is quite a long time and so before we move on i do want to pick up on some cheeky wording over here here, which is Crunchyroll saying these special events don't last forever, so you want to make sure to obtain her while you can to have something to remember her by. That is uh, that is peak cheeky, my guys. And so after Rem, we have the story event coming up. As you can see, we got Rem, we got Amelia, and TLDR, because this is going to be one of the new type of events, we're going to have normal mode, hard mode, very hard mode, as well as the special mode. But if you guys have been playing for a while, this is going to be not really a surprise to you guys. The only thing that's really going to be a surprise is this guy over here. And so if you do want Want a quick sneak preview of this uh, monstrosity you can head back to my ue7 batch video because in that video i showcase battle juice very briefly because he is a multi-target boss and so what that ultimately means is that you're going to be getting your mimi ready you're going to be getting your cleave units ready moving on we've got exclusive character ram joins your party Ram is indeed going to be the welfare unit. So you guys don't have to stress too much about getting her. And if I scroll down a little bit, I will show you guys the shards over here. We've got the Suzume shards, which is fantastic because she is a clan battle coin. And then we got Ram. And it's at this point that I suspect we're going to be getting a lot of new players. Well, like a decent amount because of this new collab. And so for you newer players or like you players who have not actually hit level cap, you'll be pleased to see that we have an event quest player EXP 1.5 times. And since the master shop actually just suddenly appeared one day this is going to be very very important to all of us because we really really need that extra coins to get those muimi shards to get those christina shards and eventually all of the other limited ones such as like your summer kiaru etc etc and so that said let's move on so next we have a mildly interesting banner that is the Ilya banner the kari banner the maho banner and the reason for this banner is because we're going to be getting the rerun event of the vampire hunters with Ilya. this one is going to be quite a decent event especially for the newer players as well considering we're going to be getting Kari shards and if you guys don't know about Kari, Kari is in essence one of the strongest single target physical DPSs. However, we have jumped up a little bit. Let's go back. And so what's happening with this focus gacha with this rate up banner is that after Rem disappears from the gacha, so hers ends on the May 15th, we are going to have a brief period where we have this banner instead of immediately going into the Amelia banner. And so this banner is going to last for four days. However, after that, we will now return to the regularly scheduled ReZero themed programming. And so as you can see, it is the beloved Amelia because Amelia over Rem. If you guys have a problem with that, I don't know, fight with me down in the comments. I'm just putting it out there, man. Amelia best girl. Anyway, so for Amelia, same deal as for Rem. They are both going to be limited units, collab units. They are not going to be available in any of the pools until about a year and a few months later. And so if you are a Rem simp, if you are a Amelia simp, you guys freaking go for it. You guys like ignore what I say about character evaluations because it's not fun playing the game without the characters you truly want. If I'm going to sell you guys on it, just look at these. Look at these little sprites. They are so freaking cute. And so moving through, moving through, we've got the Amelia banner coming up and then we've got the three star and guaranteed premium gacha, which is kind of nice considering this bad boy is going to be overlapping with the Amelia focus gacha. That means that if you do do a paid tendril, which is I believe 1500 diam, no, that's the wrong currency, of the paid jemmies, you will get a 10 pool in which one of those characters are guaranteed to be a three star. That three star could be the Amelia. With that being said though, I'm pretty sure that the Amelia is not going to be actually on the rate up. And so if you guys do get that dupe Tomo, please don't come back and sue me. 
I warned you guys and I'll be big sad for you. All right, moving on, moving on. We've got the Revival Story event, AKA the rerun. This is just great. This is just more gemmies. We're gonna be getting more Maho shards. We're gonna be getting more Kari shards. And so all in all, that is going to be it for our events. Next, we do have the game updates. As for the new content, we have the main quest going up to area 25. That means we're gonna be getting a new hard mode and we are finally, finally going to be able to farm for Kasumi. And so honestly, this is where it's gonna get spicy. We've got Pekka we've got Shiori, we've got Kasumi. This time, next time, we are gonna be getting an farmable and it's just gonna be getting better and better. Additionally, for the main story, we're gonna be getting chapter 13, episodes one to five. Again, I am so hooked on this freaking story. I just finished like pre-con season two, uh, like two weeks ago. It was so freaking good. If you guys are skip gamers, I would encourage you guys to give this main story a shot. It's actually... I don't know, it's it's kind of weird how I was a skip gamer before. And so next we are getting a equipment cap increase to rank 14, three equips. And so just a quick reminder on this one, generally speaking, when you go up to like the new three equipments on the right hand side, for the most part, that is going to be like your best in slot for all of your DPSs. However, as always, if you are not sure about your equipments, like the optimal ranks, head on over to chocolate's guide. We've got chocolate guides over here and we can go ahead and click the, click the, uh, the 14, button that will be there when we get closer to the update itself. Chocolate's guide is quite fantastic. However, you guys do need to keep in mind that Chocolate is essentially a top tier player. He is going to be optimizing for essentially like the top 10 guilds. And so with that being said, let's come down to this one over here. The new unique equipment coming soon. I did actually do an evaluation for this one. I would actually highly, highly recommend you guys go and watch that video because this is one of the most game changing updates in terms of both PVP and CB. And if you guys don't want to go over and watch that one, I will give you guys a TLDR because I kind of get it. Depending on how much you invest into Ilya, Ilya may stop killing herself so much. In terms of Miyako, she is going to become the premier physical tank again. However, we have a lot of mages and it's just not exactly her meta. But combining the Miyako UE with the Kuka UE, like they are essentially the dream team again. Next, we've got Misaki and she is essentially an insane powerhouse in PvP because her skill one is going to now slow down essentially everybody. And my guys, remember that action speed is king in PvP as well as like the crowd control, the CCs, because if you get your skills off faster than the other team, generally speaking, the other team is probably dead. As for Misogi, unfortunately, she does not see much improvement. For Kyoka, she is going to get a four times multiplier on crits for her skill one Ice Lance. And then to top things off, we've got Mimi over here who will be gaining a massive, massive AOE, which is going to be relevant in PvP. It's going to be relevant in CB. It's going to be relevant in PVE everywhere. All right, and so that is the UEs in a nutshell. I still would recommend you guys go over and check out the video, just a little bit more of an in-depth look, just to really understand as to the why. Next, we've got a Lunar Tower coming up in May. I believe we actually have passed the 250th floor. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But this time, we are going to be fighting a big clown. That's, uh, that's, that's actually kind of terrifying. Uh, let's, let's move on. And so now this one, May Clan Battle. This is uh, really, really interesting that they are finally going to be, hopefully moving forward, announcing these clan battles in advance. And so as always, this clan battle is going to be lasting for five days at the end of the month from the 25th of May up to the 30th. As for the rewards for this clan battle, we will be earning the lovely Suzume's shards. And so if you guys are for whatever reason considering DAing Suzume, hold on to that. All right, moving on, moving on. We've got the Grotto times two. We've got the Sanctum Survey times two. We've got the... Huh? We've got all of the usual suspects. We've got the Grotto. We've got the Sanctum. We've got the Normal times two. We've got Hard Quest times two and Dungeon times two. Dungeon... Holy crap, Dungeon just got super, super giga busted. Because if you guys still have not realized, they are actually including the latest area updates equipment in the dungeon shop. Like, holy moly, I'm so down bad for these Genesis staffs. And if I scroll up a little bit, we've got these Amis over here. We've got the Mermaid Tears. We've got these uh, Coco things, the Cositis Nails. And they actually do include the equips for map 24, which is utterly insane. So if you guys don't have the dungeon pack, I don't know, this is not sponsored by Crunchyroll. I would actually recommend it especially because of this however my guys with that that is going to bring us to the end of the update i did not actually have enough time to cover ram rem and amelia i would definitely do them in the next video and so my dudes let me know if you guys are going to be rolling on the lovely rem or the double lovely <laughs> the double lovely amelia let me know down in the comments below and if you guys do end up leaving a comment Thank you guys so much. If you did enjoy this video or you would like to see more from me, please consider liking the video, subscribing, and turning the notification bell on. But otherwise, as your girl Amelia once said, 
all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.